Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the checkout process options in WooCommerce. These options will give you some control over how people actually go through the checkout process and the behavior of the website uh, when they're going through it. The first option we can see here is to enable the use of coupons. Now of course this is on by default. Uh, it means that you can just go and create coupons whenever you see fit and customers can apply them as required. It's best to leave that on unless you completely do not want to use coupons uh, but of course that's entirely up to you next we can enable the guest checkout this means that customers don't have to make an account when they're making a purchase with you it's again on by default and should be left on and just below this we have for secure checkout it's not turned on by default because to turn it on you need to have an SSL certificate set up for your particular website not everyone has this least of all when they're initially setting up a website so it's not turned on but Ultimately, if you're running an e-commerce website, then secure payments should be something you take extremely seriously and you would ideally have an SSL certificate and then be able to turn this on. Then we just get down to checkout pages. These are set so WooCommerce knows where to send users when they're checking out. The cart page naturally goes to the cart. This is a default. The checkout page also goes to its default of checkout page, which as you can see here can be changed as well. And just below this is terms and conditions. Now, hopefully, you have terms and conditions on your website somewhere or ideally on a page of their own so that if the buyer wants to actually read your terms and conditions they can and can do so very easily by clicking a link in the checkout process and if you've done that hopefully you'll have a page called terms and conditions or t's and c's or something to that effect anyway so when you click on this drop down you can see it there and click on it without any hassle now we get down to checkout endpoints. These are just endpoints that are put on the end of page URLs to handle specific actions when the customer is checking out. You can see that for making payment, it goes to order dash pay, order received, order received, and add payment method, exactly the same there again. So as I mentioned, you can change these, but really these defaults are going to be just fine. Then as we move down, we get to payment gateways. This only shows the payment gateways that are currently installed. There are a great range of add-ons and custom setups you can run with WooCommerce to take other payment methods such as Bitcoin for instance. And this is the order that it's going to be in when people are going through and going to make a payment. So maybe you want to take credit card, you can move credit card to the top or you know PayPal if that's what you want to do. You can even set a default as well if you'd like. And indeed there are settings for these that we're going to go through individually uh, just after this video. When you have finished making any changes you'd like to make in this particular settings area, make sure you hit save changes. And that's where we're gonna wind up this video. Uh, after this, we're gonna go through each of these payment options just to set it up correctly for your website or at least teach you how you can do that. If you have any questions about what we've covered in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, hit subscribe for more.